Hi guys, today's video is a look that was actually inspired by um, another YouTuber. It's uh, What Style Is To Nickel. He just put a video up, I believe, for like a sugar pill um, review. And he had this kind of um, makeup going on with the different colors, kind of with like the green, purple, pink, and then the orange kind of blushy contour kind of deal. Um, he wore some nude lips, but I'll show you at the end of the tutorial that nude lips don't look cute on me, so I did this instead. Um, yeah, and I was just really inspired by it. I thought it was a really cool um, look, really cool colors, and um, yeah, so I'm hoping maybe I'll leave this as a video response to his. I don't know, but anyway, this is how I did it, so if you want to know how to do this, then just stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is um, you want to just apply a green base. I'm using this green eyeliner. Um, this is Color Matters. This came out a long time ago from MAC. Um, you could use any kind of green base though that you wanted to. You could even use a white base like a jumbo eyeshadow pencil. Um, anything of that sort of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over the lid. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color. This is a... Um, matte squared color from MAC. MAC. I don't know if they still have it, but it's newly minted. Um, I don't know if they still have it though, but you can always check and see. I'm not sure if they discontinued it. But I'm just going to take this on a flat brush. This is a uh, 252. Just a big, big brush to pack on color. And it's getting some of that, and then I'm just going to literally just pat and pack that color on. I'm going to go into the next color. And for this color um, is another MAC color. This is Post Haste from MAC. Um, this is a matte squared shadow as well. Um, I believe there's one similar now that's called Passionate, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm not, again, not sure if they sell that one anymore either. MAC always has a tendency to discontinue pigmented good eyeshadows, but anyway. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this right into the crease and blend it up. And whenever it meets that kind of green color, it's going to go ahead and start to create a purple on its own. And then you're going to just kind of add a little bit more purple with the um, other purple color that I'm going to use. Just to even it out so that it blends a little bit nicer, um, I'm taking the color in Blanc Type. It's kind of the same color as my skin, just a MAC um, eyeshadow. And I'm just going to use this kind of as a highlight color and then something to just kind of bring down that pink a little bit so that it all um, blends nicely. Pink down. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Makeup Forever color number 92. Um, this looks completely misrepresented on my camera. It picks it up as blue, where in real life it's much more of a red color. Don't know why, but it does. So I'm just going to take this on a 219 um, pencil brush and I'm just going to put this right in to where the, the green meets the pink. Going into the orange, um, I'm going to do my underneath my eye area and I'm just going to take a little bit of that newly minted color and I'm going to put it right on the lower part of my eye. And then I'm going to go into Makeup Forever number 92 and I'm going to continue that line and that shape just right underneath the eye. And then right where the two meet, I'm just going to add a little bit of the pink. Just so that everything kind of mimics the um, the top. And then for my waterline, I'm just going to put on Feline Eye Pencil from MAC. It's a black liner. And then for my upper lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a black liquid liner. Okay, so I just went ahead and applied some mascara, and then now we're going to start adding a little bit of the orange color. So for this, I'm just going to zoom out a bit. So you can see that the orange kind of continues in this shape, which I really, really liked. Um, I thought it looked cool. So I'm also just going to kind of continue the orange in with the actual eyeshadow that I have on. 
And for that, I'm just taking a fluffy brush. This is a um, 239 Sigma one. It's a little bit bigger than a regular one. And I'm just going into this color. I'm actually going to use a different colors, a bunch of different colors. But this is off the page. Um, that was limited edition. I'm going to use these three. So that's orange, rule, and off the page. But I'm just going to use off the page now. And I'm just going to put this way into that top kind of area of my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow is odd. Haha. <laughs> And <laughs> I'm just going to kind of blend it with the pink because it's going to blend really well with the pink anyway. And it looks kind of cool. So once you have that on, then I'm just going to actually take a, um, like a blush or a contour brush, whatever you want. And I'm just going to kind of do this. Kind of do this. So you get a little bit of all of it. That looks insane, I know, but just light, steady hand so you don't get it all crazy. And I'm just going to kind of continue from the edge of the eyeshadow right into my temple area. A little bit up as well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down kind of into my contour area. Okay, so then once that cheek thing's done and it looks orange like this, that's kind of how the final look um, ended out. I really like it. I think it's kind of cool and funky. Um, I'm going to show you two options for the lips because I personally hate nude lips. I think they look terrible on me. Um, there's very few people that I know that can actually pull them off. Um, one is Nikki Tutorial. She can pull off nude lips, but me, not so much. Because this is I'm so pale. But this is kind of like my semi-nude. Um, this is Hue from MAC. And that's kind of like about as nude as I'll go. Um, I think it looks terrible with my skin tone. So I'm actually going to take this off and I'm going to do something a little bit different. favorite lipsticks that I think is going to go kind of good with this. Um, it's actually a limited edition, but I think the closest thing to this is actually um, Show Orchid. Only show or let me see. I think I have show or good somewhere. Okay, this color is limited edition. This is called um, Gladiola. This is from the Dame Edna collection. Um, let me just swatch this. This is a matte, kind of like hot purpley pink or pink with like a blue tone. And then this is show orchid, which is a little bit more pink. And this is an amplified. That's Gladiola, that's Show Orchid, so they're they're close, but... Anyway, so I'm going to put Gladiola on, because I think it's going to go well with this. And then right on top of this lipstick, I'm going to put a little bit of um, Electric Fuchsia Dazzle, or not Dazzle Glass, this is the lip glass. It's actually just, um, it has like blue reflect in it, it's really cool. So yeah, that's the finished look. Um, I do hope you enjoy it. I rather like it. It is expired by Richie, or um, what style is Tinical? Um, yeah, I really like the look and I thought it would be really something cool to do and I like the color combinations. Um, my camera is washing stuff out a little bit so it'll probably look more true to color in the photos. And um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and until my next video, I'll talk to all of you soon. Bye.